Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about cardinal properties of cells. For this, first of all, consider two overlapping sets A and B. Now consider this screen diagram which shows two overlapping subsets of the universal set that is the universal set is represented by U and it is having two overlapping subsets which are the set A and set B. Now let number of elements in A minus B is equal to A, number of elements in B minus A is equal to B and number of elements in A intersection B is equal to C. Now here, this portion of A excluding this portion which is common to both A and B is A minus B. Now it is given that the number of elements in A minus B is A. Similarly, this portion of B excluding the portion of the intersection is B minus A and number of elements in B minus A is B. And the number of elements in A intersection B that means this region which is common to both is given to us as C. Therefore, number of elements in A minus B is equal to number of elements in A minus number of elements in A intersection B. Now putting these values here, this implies A is equal to number of elements in A minus C, which further gives number of elements in A is equal to A plus C. Similarly, number of elements in B minus A is equal to number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. Now, this implies number of elements in B minus A is this and number of elements in A intersection B is this. So, this will be B is equal to number of elements in B minus C which further gives number of elements in B is equal to B plus C. Now the next property is number of elements in A union B that means the elements which are in A or in B or in A and B both is equal to number of elements in A minus B plus number of elements in B minus A plus number of elements which are in this common portion that means number of elements in A intersection B. So this is equal to number of elements in A minus B plus number of elements in B minus A plus number of elements in A intersection B. Now using these properties which we have discussed earlier this implies number of elements in A union B is equal to now number of elements in A minus B is equal to number of elements in A minus number of elements in A intersection B plus number of elements in B minus A is number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B plus number of elements in A intersection B. Now these are cancelled with each other. So this implies number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. Also from this Venn diagram number of elements in the universal set is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements which are in A complement. Now A complement are those elements which are in the universal set but not in A. Therefore, 
The next property is number of elements in the universal set is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in A complement. Similarly, number of elements in the universal set is equal to number of elements in B plus number of elements in B complement. Now, B complement is a set of those elements of the universal set which are not in B. So this will be equal to number of elements in B plus number of elements in B complement. Now let us discuss an example by using the cardinal properties of sets. Now here, consider of a group of 100 people in a restaurant where 50 people like continental food, 25 like Italian food, and 30 people do not like any of these kinds of foods. Then find first part, how many like both kinds of foods? Second part, how many like only continental? And third part, how many like only Italian? Now let us start with its solution by using cardinal properties of sets. Now it is given that in a group of 100 people in a restaurant, 50 people like continental food, 25 like Italian food, and 30 people do not like any of these kinds of foods. Now let the universal set is represented by U, which is equal to the set containing people who were present in the restaurant. And number of elements in U is equal to 100. Also, let A be a set containing people who like continental food. Therefore, number of elements in A is equal to 50. And let B is equal to the set containing people who like Italian food. Now the people who like Italian food are 25. Therefore, number of elements in B is equal to 25. Now let us discuss this with the Venn diagram. Now number of elements in A is equal to 50. Number of elements in B is equal to 25. And it is also given that 30 people do not like any of these kinds of food. That means those elements will be inside this rectangle but outside this portion of A union B. So it will be here. Now, number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in universal set which are 100 minus 30 as these are the number of elements which are outside this portion of A union B but inside this rectangle which is representing the universal set. So this is equal to 70. Now using this result which we have discussed earlier number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. So this implies number of elements in A intersection B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A union B. So here, by putting these values, number of elements in A are 50, number of elements in B are 25, and here, this is 70. 
which is further equal to 75 minus 70 which is equal to 5. Therefore, the number of elements which are common to both A and B are 5. Therefore, the number of people who like both kinds of foods is equal to 5. Now we have to find how many of them like continental food only. Now, A minus B, that is this portion is equal to the set containing people who like continental food only. Now using this property, number of elements in A minus B is equal to number of elements in A minus number of elements in A intersection B. Now using these, that is, number of elements in A is equal to 50 and number of elements in A intersection B is equal to 5. So putting these values here, it will be 50 minus 5, which is equal to 45. Therefore, the number of people who like continental food only is equal to 45. Now let us discuss the third part. Now here, this portion represents B minus A. That means these are the elements of B which are not in A. That is, these are the people who like Italian food only. Now B minus A is a set containing the people who like Italian food only. Now using this property, number of elements in B minus A is equal to number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B, which is equal to, now number of elements in B is equal to 25 and number of elements in A intersection B is equal to 5. Now putting these values here, it will be 25 minus 5, which is equal to 20. Therefore, Number of people who like Italian food only is equal to 20. Therefore, by using various cardinal properties of sets, we have solved this example. So in this session, we have learned about cardinal properties of sets. And this concludes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.